Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So, pretty soon, this week, we will be getting a Resident Evil showcase. Let me show a new footage of Resident Evil Village. Also, talking about future Resident Evil games as well. Now, there's been a little bit of a teaser going on because on some of the stuff that they're showing, they're showing old footage of Resident Evil games, which is leading me to think that we might be seeing some re-releases or ports of the original games. And now... There's rumors going around that we might even see Trilogy Remasters. So let's read this article. This is from RelyOnHorror.com. I think this is really interesting. Um, people are slowly starting to pick up on this. I haven't seen too many of my friends talk about it, so I wanted to touch on it. You see, Capcom may be teasing Resident Evil PS1 Trilogy Remasters. Now, I know, uh, you know, the GameCube got remasters or remakes or whatever, and then throughout the years they've been re-released and stuff, but I think now is the time that they're probably going to do something to get that hype out for Resident Evil 8. So reading this, it says, Over the last few days, Capcom has been building up hype for the Resident Evil Showcase, which is due to stream next Thursday, January 21st. The main focus of the presentation will obviously be Resident Evil Village, but they also announced in their preview teaser that the stream will also highlight more related to the Resident Evil franchise. Thus far, a best guess has been something related to the just announced Resident Evil multiplayer game, which is holding an invite only beta just a few days after the showcase stream. So there will be an invite only. I'm also assuming they'll show more about like whatever the, the TV show that's supposed to be coming out and any other new movies and stuff like that. But it definitely seems that Capcom is going to be doing a lot of Resident Evil announcements here in the near future. It says now while building up hype. The official Resident Evil Twitter account has been tweeting a few classic Resident Evil videos showing off the old PS1 Trilogy's UI, which is interesting. Thus far, we've gotten clips from all three of the original games, and based on the days remaining until the stream itself, we fully expect there to be clips from Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, and 7. That is, until a few Eagle Eye fans noticed the resolution looked a little better than it should on certain elements of the UI. So there's been changes on these clips. This writer goes on to say they were curious, so they decided to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison. And these clips aren't from the PS1 games. They're clips from remasters. So take a look at this. Here's down below a screenshot. Shows the original Resident Evil right here. And then it shows the Resident Evil Twitter uh, video. There looks like to be some slight changes for sure. And it says all three videos showcase changes to the UI and visual quality of these games. From small and innocuous changes to massive and glaring ones. I took a few screenshots of both the original 96, 98, and 99 games and directly compared them to the videos posted on Twitter, and the differences are shocking. So, yeah. This person says it didn't even register with me at first when it was tweeted three days ago. John Muncher over on Twitter got a little bit of hype rolling by pointing out. The ink ribbon model looks slightly crisper than normal. So it's little changes, guys, but it, it, it's enough to lead to speculation. Putting the two side by side, I'm not really sure on that one, but that doesn't mean these two UIs aren't massively different from each other. While the art style itself hasn't changed at all, multiple elements have been moved around. The ECG and equipped weapon icon have been spread further apart and Jill's character portrait is missing entirely. The map files radio exit tab that sits above inventory no longer sticks out, overlapping the inventory. In fact, the inventory window itself seems to have been smushed up against the side of the check item window, whereas before the slight gap between two elements, there was a slight gap between the two elements. On a smaller note, the will you take the ink ribbon text has been scooted over slightly, now resting entirely beneath the check item window rather than the yes no option being beneath the inventory. So they've done some changes. Take a look at this. Resident Evil 2 1998. Resident Evil Twitter video. So Resident Evil 2's inventory might seem a lot less exciting as there's literally less to see here, but there's still a number of changes made here regardless. Just a lot more subtle. The printing key text has been changed to read club key outright. So yeah, and then the color of the key item icon itself has been brightened, as has the color green color of the window. The window has also been condensed into a box as opposed to the much wider window shown in the original. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is the one that really got excited and spurred on this whole comparison. So you can see definitely a lot of changes with the Resident Evil 3 screenshots. 
Unlike the small changes to Resident Evil 96 and the even smaller ones for Resident Evil 2, the changes here are quite frankly startlingly massive. Gone are the equipped weapon and ECG windows. Gone is Jill's character portrait. The inventory itself now has 14 slots instead of the original game's maximum of 10. The used combined checkbox has been made much smaller and the window the item artwork sits in has been much made much larger and square unlike the squat rectangle from the original. So there's a lot of changes here. Honestly, pretty impressive if you think about it for people who caught this. Now, yeah, these are small changes, but it's still enough to where people can be like, all right. So there's even redoing of text. So it definitely comes across like there's some changes being made here. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description down below. I think right now, like I said, would definitely be the time for something to come out like this in regards to possible remasters or re-release of the originals. Um, there's absolutely no reason why not. It's a franchise that a lot of people love and are excited for. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. It's going to be pretty hype going into this Resident Evil showcase later this week. Thanks a lot for watching.